Hi friends, Amy Love here and I'm coming on today to share with you this little sweet little journal I created um, using the digital kit called uh, Biscotti Silk Cafe by Ula La Vintage Treasures. And I will put a link below to Doreen's Etsy store where you can see all the beautiful digitals. And I also put a link below to everyone on Doreen's design team. There are some amazing, talented people on her design team. Please go check them all out. I'm sure you will find things that inspire you just like I do. But this is the little journal that I made. I just, I love how this turned out. It is so so cute. So everything, almost every single thing in this journal is either from Doreen's digital kit or from one of her kit club kits. And if you're interested in getting on the waiting list for her kit clubs, just uh, shoot her a message and she'll make sure you get on there. So I'm going to show you uh, the back first because I feel you can better see what I've done. <clears throat> There's this beautiful fabric that I got in one of my kit club kits. I think it was in the Precious Bits kit, but I used that fabric. So I just tore it into strips and then I sewed it. I sewed the strips down and then I did also put this little polka dot um, fabric uh, in between. Isn't it cute? And that's also the same fabric I used for the tie closure. I just think it's so adorable. Oh, it's so, I'm... I hope my lighting is good enough where you can see how stinking cute this is. The colors are just amazing. This beautiful applique, I didn't feel like it needed much because I wanted you to see all the strips because I just think they're so pretty. So I just popped on this little applique that was in one of my Kit Club kits. This little uh, friend label is actually not part of the uh, Biscotti Silk Cafe. That was a part of the Snippets of Love kit. But that's the only thing in here I think that is not from <laughs> the Biscotti Silk Cafe. And I just sewed it down um, onto a piece of that polka dot fabric with some of this yummy, like, oh, what do they call it? It's not, not like eyelash, but it's, you know, it's very... One, it's very sparkly, but it's also very fuzzy. That's the word I was looking for. And it's like gold. And that was in one of the Kit Club kits too. And then I just put this little snippet of this pink beaded applique that was in one of the Kit Club kits too. So I just, it's adorable. And as usual, I just tied um, my signatures in. And I used crinkled uh, seam binding to do that. I think crinkled seam binding is so fun. And I just... I love how that looks just hanging off the edge there. So I prefer to tie in my signatures. That way you can reuse the cover because I just think the cover is stinking adorable. And that, you know, so if you tie in the signatures, you just keep using this cover and tie in new signatures. Easy peasy. So let me show you the inside. So cute. So I did use strips of... An old sheet actually I tore into strips and I used for the uh, inside cover and then oh man I forgot to turn my phone off again y'all I'm sorry <laughs> I made this lace pocket right here and then I put the same lace I put at the bottom I put right here I just think it's so pretty here is one of those dangles that I created um, on the embarrassing video that I have up where my allergies were just crazy Y'all, I'm just sorry that that even happened. <laughs> but sometimes my allergies are just out of control, and that day they were. Uh, but this is one of those dangles that I created. So it's using bits from the uh, Biscotti Silk Cafe plus other snippets. Uh, this charm, this uh, key charm was in my stash, but everything else came from the Kit Club. And it's just cute. There's so many yummy layers there. So this is one of the beautiful pages from the Biscotti Silk Cafe kit. And then along the edge is just some lace that was in one of her kits. And I did ink all the edges with the tea stain and I did a lot of stenciling too. So you can just journal on the back of this page. This is a glassine bag that I decorated with um, this card from the digital and then a bunch of snippets from her kit club. And then inside the glassine bag, is one of the cards from the kit with just a little lace tab and you could journal on the back and there's some more stenciling. Love, love. 
say. And then on the back of the glassine bag, I created a pocket. And what I love is you can see the stenciling through the bag. So cute. But I took this card and made a pocket and popped on some little um, pieces from the Kit Club kit. And then these two. And I did stencil like on every piece. I was just in a mood. <laughs> so I was <laughs> inking and uh, stenciling on all the things. And then here is this beautiful page from the kit. Gorgeous. And this was a piece of lace that was in one of the Kit Club kits and it made a great tuck spot for this little card that I just put a fabric tab on. And it'll tuck right in there. It's super cute. And then this is another beautiful like background image that's in the kit. I added some music paper that I did ink and stencil, another pretty lace. And then here's another journaling spot. And I don't know, I feel like you're gonna be able to see it, but I did spray it with like a shimmer coffee spray. It's so cute, you can definitely see it in person. Very pretty, and I did ink the edges of all the papers. So let me show you this page. Look at that beautiful digital. And then these pretty paper clips, which are just gorgeous and fat and gold, and I love them. They were in one of my Kit Club kits. And so I stuck another one of those dangles that I created right onto the bottom of that. And then this one has the bow and this tiny tag that was in the kit, a little um, collaged strip that I created, and then some lace, and then this tag that was in the kit with some more snippets that were in the Kit Club kit, and a beautiful piece of lace that was in the Kit Club, kit, club kit. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna stop saying that because it's a tongue twister. All of the stuff in here came at, either out of a Kit Club kit or it's Doreen's Digital. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love these. These are gorgeous. I have one more that I'm kind of just like hoarding it more journaling spaces this is some embossed paper that I kind of inked up a little bit so pretty and then here is a paper clip that I created so you could tuck something under there so cute I love the key and then this is what it looks like on this side so you can definitely tuck something and then look at this paper look at this bling on this digital so cute, Doreen, I love it. So fun. Right. Look at that. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So here's the other side of that glassing bag. And I just used some of the snippets to create a little pocket to put this adorable card. It's just cute. So that tucks right in there. And then inside the bag, I did this little um, envelope, stenciled it and inked it, and then used some snippets to create the front. There's nothing in there, but you could put whatever you wanted to in there. So cute. So that's inside the glassing bag. Also the glassing bag, I'm pretty sure was in one of the kits too. And then here's the other side. And I just love how you can see that. Love, love. All right, now here's the second signature. I created a little pocket with some cute images from the kit. And then here's like a little, isn't that cute? That's so cute. And here's this one, a little scrappy pad. Adorable, fits right in there. Love. Some more journaling spots, some more of the shimmer coffee spray which the shimmer is so faint I'm sure you won't be able to see it on the video but it's so cute another beautiful page from the digital kit and I just stuck on some bits so pretty and then this is an envelope and I just created this using this it's so cute this page from the uh, this card from the digital kit I think it's so stinking cute so I put that there 
And here's the other side, and I just tucked in this journaling card from the kit. It fits right inside the envelope there. And then here's another page from the kit. So cute. And then over here I made another um, paper clip. And it has this uh, journaling card tucked right in. Adorable. So see how cute that is? It's so cute. So that goes right there. And this is what it looks like on this side with this piece from the kit tucked in. Super cute, super cute. And I just added some fabric and a little rolled rose to the uh, music paper that I also stenciled. I just want music paper in all the things. I'm really loving it. And then I just smooshed up some cheesecloth for the edge and then I created this fabric tab and I put the other dangle that I created right there with bits from all the kits. Isn't that so, so cute? So cute. So that's just pinned on with a bulb pin. All of the dangles are pinned on with a bulb pin so that you can take it off and pin them wherever you want. And here's this side. More stenciling. And then here's another little pocket that I created. And it has this card inside. Isn't that so cute? Just a beautiful, beautiful kit, Doreen. Beautiful. And that tucks right inside there. So there's a lot of good pages for journaling. And look at this back page. I just love this really shabby bow that's in this kit. It's so cute. And then here is another pocket. I just think it turned out so sweet. So this is my little Biscotti Silk Cafe journal. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and this journal will of course be available in my Etsy and you will find the link to my Etsy and to Ooh La La Vintage Treasures below. And thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.